travel ng Okay, so children, pakiliwanag uh, uh, ng mic nyo, may pakaliwanag sila nga po. So, habang nag uh, storytelling yung ating storyteller for today, ito children na hindi contest. Ito ay presentation ng grade 2 St. Agatha. Okay? Or, I don't know kung ito ay presentation na ng buong grade 2. Now, um... Uh, hindi ito labanan, so siyempre, i-recognize din siya ng ating school kasi nag-effort siya ng uh, sobra para lang makapag-storytelling sa inyo ng maganda. Okay? So, we still have 4 minutes to wait para makarating yung iba. And after that, uh, yun ay ang ating buong advisor staff with the views for the storytelling in discussion. Is that clear? Okay. Sige, off your mic mo. Hello, everyone. I'm Teacher Anne. Now, I'm going to uh, present to you our storyteller for today. Her name is Mary Margaret Yanto. She's going to portray the story of the Snow White. Let's welcome her. Okay, so are you ready? Let's listen to her. Snow White Story Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Snow White. She was kind and gentle and a friend to all animals. One day, Snow White met a charming prince as they sang a song of love together. Snow White's evil stepmother, the queen, watched them. The queen was so jealous of Snow White's beauty that she ordered her huntsman to kill the young princess. But the huntsman couldn't bring himself to hurt Snow White. He told her to run far away so the queen would never find her. Snow White ran deep into the woods. She was lost and scared but soon found herself in front of a cottage. The princess knocked, but no one was home. She slowly stepped inside. The cottage was a mess. With the help of her forest friends, Snow White cleaned every nook and cranny. Maybe whoever lives here will let me stay, said Snow White. Upstairs, Snow White found seven little beds. She thought they belonged to children. Tired from cleaning, Snow White yawned. Hi. As she curled up on the beds and fell asleep. Meanwhile, the seven dwarves were heading home from a long day of working in a jewel mine. They were, they were anxious to get home to their cottage in the woods. The seven dwarves were surprised when they found a princess inside their home. When Snow White awoke, she was charmed by the seven dwarves. Dopey, sneezy, happy, grumpy, dark, bashful, and sleepy. The dwarves okay. wanted to protect the beautiful princess from the evil queen, so they invited Snow White to live with them. To celebrate, the new friends sang and danced the night away. Back at the castle, the queen learned that Snow White was still alive. Enraged, she made a magic potion to change her appearance. Her plan was to trick the princess. After the dwarves had set off for work the next day, the queen, disguised as an old peddler woman, offered Snow White a beautiful red apple. Snow White took one bite of the apple and fell into, into a deep sleep. The queen had poisoned her. 
when the dwarves came home, they chased the queen to the top of the stormy mountain. Suddenly, lightning hit the mountain, and the queen fell, never to be seen again. But Snow White was still in a deep sleep. The seven dwarves kept watch over her day and night. Finally, Snow White's Prince Charming arrived. He had been searching everywhere for the beautiful princess he had sung with so long ago. The prince awakened Snow White with love's first kiss. The spell was broken. Snow White and the prince returned to the kingdom and lived happily ever after. The end. You are now muted. Okay, thank you, Mary Margaret. Now, um, children, can you please give her a big round of applause? Clap your hands for her very really good. Okay, Mary, thank you very much for all your effort. Okay, ikaw po yung aming representative para sa storytelling ng grade 2. And pasabi din kay mami, kay daddy, kay tita, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> from all of us. No.